Okay, so with each of the following shapes, we're trying to identify all of the lines of symmetry, which is where we can fold our shapes in half, right, or, or cut it in half so that each side is a mirror image of the other. So for example, I can draw a line of symmetry through this shape right here. And you notice on both sides of the line, I have a mirror image of the shape. And in this case, I'm just considering the shape to be this blue pattern, right, not the white space. And that's one line of symmetry. And in fact, all the way around this shape, anytime I draw a line that goes right through a dot, like this right here, oops, and through the center, through another dot, I get basically half of this shape. So how many times will that happen? Well, I can do that nine times, right? I could draw nine lines of symmetry that go through these circles, right, across the center of the shape, and then fold the entire shape in half. I'll draw three of them here because, well, and you could draw the rest, I'll leave it to you, but there you'll find nine lines of symmetry. And the other nine, because there are 18 here, are in fact between these dots. And I guess you can see it here, right? There's another type of line of symmetry. And there are nine more of these that we can actually draw. And you might be thinking, well, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 dots. So aren't there 18 lines that go through the dots and 18 that go between? Well, remember that by drawing this green line, for example, right, that goes through two of the dots. So there are nine lines of symmetry that go through the 18 dots and nine lines that go between. This shape has 18 separate lines of symmetry. And again, the, the goal is to draw lines that fold this shape in half. Let's look at another shape to get a sense of how this works. With this shape right here, how many lines of symmetry are there? Well, this is an interesting shape because I think we have two obvious lines, right? One here, this folds the shape in half, and another right about here. But are there more? Well, sure. If we were to draw a line like this, right? Try to get it perfect. And in fact, I, you can tell my lines are slightly off because they should all, I think, meet at the same point here. Let's try to get this going. There we go. There's a line of symmetry right there. Right? You can see that this, the shape would fold on a diagonal. And again, I'm just considering the blue right, area and this white shape in the middle um, as the shape itself. This white trim is slightly off on each side. That's just the way I, I pulled this shape out to examine it. Um, so here's another line. There's three lines of symmetry. And here's our fourth. Notice they all meet at the same point. So you, can, you have four different lines of symmetry right, for this shape. Now the next two are a little bit trickier. This shape, you would say, oh, well, yeah, it looks like it has symmetry. It looks like it works. But what's happening here, and the reason this has no lines of symmetry, is because of the way the color scheme is set up. So right here, right, we have this blue tile. And if we try to fold it, right, across a vertical line right here, this will never work because on this side, we have a white tile. And the shape inside here is colored white. But here, it's colored in blue. So we can't fold it like this because the colors will never line up. And the same is true with folding it this way. The colors just don't match in any way, so we can't find any lines of symmetry here. Here's another interesting shape. Um, essentially, you feel like, oh, there is some type of pattern here. As I move over to the right and down, this moves in an equal way over to the left and up. So maybe I can fold it somehow here, but that doesn't work. Even if you try to cut it diagonally, right, and you fold this, this shape, and you can actually try it if you want, these actually won't fold onto each other. And there is, in fact, I mean, we can test the vertical line simply. Here, if I set up a vertical line, let me just follow this path and see what happens. If I start here, right, and I go across and down, to be a reflection, right, it would do everything I do. So it would go in the exact same way I do. If I go down, I go down. If I go up, I go up. But if I go towards the line of reflection, the other line will also come towards the line of reflection. So going left and right, with a vertical line of symmetry, I'll move in opposite directions. But up and down, it should follow and approach what I do. So here, when I go up, right, this line should also go up. So if it was, uh, if the shape did have a vertical line of symmetry, it would look something like what I just drew. But it doesn't have that. In fact, this also has no lines of symmetry. All right, hope that helped.